But then the phone started ringing, and guess who left a voicemail? <laughs> Hello, Robert. Pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Now I saw you get your ass beat by that old blind nigga on the news. Man, what's up, y'all? What it do, man? It's your boy Kano, bro. Night, bro. Today we are gonna be ready to stink Mina. Okay, y'all, do not judge my hair, do not judge it, leave it alone, leave it alone, leave it alone. It's, it want to do it, the only thing, I'm, I'm not stunning. But, y'all, I repeat the granddad, man, I repeat the granddad. But we are looking at a minute to fucking society. What nigga you know come back from hell, take over a sober nigga, then his gang try to come get you. Then, then he come back four times, one, two, can't one, then two. How many times we seen? How many times they stay me to have a damn episode, bro? But we about to go ahead and get into it. <clears throat> Hatred. To dislike a nigga intensely or passionately, to the point where you completely detest and despise that nigga on a daily basis. Now you see, ladies and gentlemen, there are just many haters in fiction just in general. For an example, Reverse Flash. I mean, yo, this man hates Barry so much, I don't even know if you call it hating at this point. It's like a severe case of meat munching. <laughs> Hell, dick eating. Then obviously, you know, we got your Dio's, your Frieza's, your flat. It was me, Dio. Didn't freeze it. Hell nah. Nose, no nostril, Voldemort. How does that nigga smell? And yo, you even got your scars. Ah, scar, please help me. Oh, pull me up. King. Adios, motherfucker. Ah! But ladies, not the son it was fail. Ladies and gentlemen, the man that we are focusing on today might be one of the most despicable, vile, disgusting, and ignorant human beings to ever grace God's green earth. The personification of hatred, Colonel H. Stinkman. I'm not ready for this. Exhibit A. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. To under spoiler one is nigga, how long this shit been out? Stand the philosophy of stink meter. And basically this entire video. Ladies and gentlemen, I must explain to you the nigga moment. An yeah. altercation caused by ignorance, overwhelming the logic, otherwise rational thinking of a brother. Now watch closely as I personally give you a demonstration. <laughs> watch where you walking, nigga. Hey, watch where you going, nigga. Hey, hey, what you say to me, cuh? Now, as you can see, these niggas is ready to pop a cap in each other's asses. So they start to get to blasting and miss every single shot like they just got off the set of A New Hope. Bro, I was just about to say that. And once they realize they just both wasted each other's time, they end up figuring out that they just wasted their life away. Freeze! Now, since we have more of an understanding of what is happening here, ladies and gentlemen, meet Colonel H. Stinkmeter. Now, even back in his childhood, damn, his mama got a bit forehead. Stinkmeter was always why did I me like a little bill cousin? He's an old, hating, bitter ass. He didn't care for beautiful sceneries, sunsets, rainbows. He just disliked happiness in general. Man, this is more bush. <laughs> At age 15, Stinkmeter lost his eyesight to cancer. But the thing is, he didn't care. He was just glad that he ain't had to see sh no more. It's not like a like that no more. So doctors only gave him three years left to live. So he decided for those three years, he would dedicate his life to spread misery and hatred. All for just sing giggles. And the thing is, people don't even know how he lived to become an old man. All they just say is, bro, it's basically a Sith Lord. The hatred drove him to live every single day. Now later on, we see this beat up ass pickup truck driving like a Nissan. How the hell is this nigga driving? Ultimate in Atlanta, not giving a care in the world, Jesus Christ, it's like truck who <laughs> done possessed this man. Wait a minute, as I'm now thinking about it, who in the hell gave this old blonde nigga a driver's license? Whoever is shooting sh you should be ashamed of yourself. Now, as we can see, this man is speeding through a park. Damn, they're the trucks from Sonic Adventures, ain't it? He's like going at least 50, and he starts bagging in the gray ass car. And he's like, hmm, there better not be nobody in my parking space. This is handicapped. So this man gets out of his car and he's like, who in the hell parked in my space? That's like calling 
one eight hundred collecting ass whooping, partner. So Granddad says, "Yo, bro, are you blind?" Yes, I am. You got a problem with that, nigga? <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, just like that. Robert, I don't mean to cut this out, but did Riley have on Michael Jackson the way he made me feel shirt? Sure. Freeman has been trapped in a moment. So Huey says, "Yo, you could have killed somebody." And this man stink meaner like, "Well, oh, I'll be doing them a favor." Getting ran over by me is as gracious as Jesus Christ coming down himself and giving you holy communion. Oh, Lord, look what you did to my car. Brother, you best have insurance. Nigga, you better have insurance. Ass whooping insurance, because you about to pay a deductible. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Granddad could either do two things right now. He could do A, walk away and let insurance handle it, or B, fight with an old crazy blind man. <laughs> and uh, let's just say... This brother chose B. So Steve Mina just start pressing him. He just start spitting in his face. And he like, what you gonna do, huh? Punk ass, pussy ass, jazz, punk ass, bitch ass, nigga. You gonna do something about it, bitch ass, nigga. And then Stink Meaner ends up doing. I don't the fuck that one. One of the most evil, demonic, and despicable things you can ever do to another man. Hold up. I smell new shoes. This man stepped on Granddad's new white voices. Oh, hell no. Nah, bro. This is the most disrespectful thing you could ever do to a man, bro. Bro, I just bought these hoes from Foot Locker like five minutes ago. I'm and saying. Nah, nah, if you replay it back, look how he stepped on it. Bro, pulled back his whole leg. Had that hoe at a 90 degree angle. <laughs> and went, yeah. Nah, bro, that's how you know he ain't got no respect for you. Wait, he hold on. Hold his whole hold up, and nah, nah, it. if you replay it back, look how he stepped on it. Bro, pulled back his whole leg, had that hoe at a 90 degree angle, and went, yeah. Nah, bro, that's how you know he ain't got no respect for you. And he's, he's like, like, yeah, they ain't new anymore, are they? Yeah, go so then, this was the final straw that made Granddad tick. So Granddad swing at him, but what he dodges it, and he's like, ah, yeah! <laughs> oh, Lord, and it was on his bad knee. Jesus Christ, my brother, you just got your ass beat by an old blind man. So Huey had to stop him. He was like, nah, bro, this over. So later, so later on, after Granddad was just fully embarrassed, everybody just start making fun of him. Riley's like, eh, could it be me getting my ass whooped by an old blind nigga? Then <laughs> later that night, while Granddad cleaning his shoes, bro, I look on the news and he like, this just said, a fight at Woodcrest Mall broke out today with an older blind man and another unknown assailant. <laughs> and it wasn't just local news. CNN was reporting on it and international news. Damn. Like, got niggas in Mexico city call him a piñata so then the phone started ringing and guess who left a voicemail <laughs> hello robert pick up, the phone. pick up the phone now i saw you get your ass beat by that old blind nigga on the news and i know you must be feeling embarrassed right now so you know what would cheer you up robert some kfc kentucky fried chicken robert hello don't you walk away from this ass machine so it got so bad to the point <laughs> why you in the head is fun fun Point that later on, Granddad ended up going back to the mall, found Stink Meaner, and challenged him to a fight. So Granddad started training, thinking he Ali or something, because <laughs> Huey was like, Granddad, you don't know what you're doing. This man is like a blind samurai or something. I had a dream about him the other night. He was like that. <laughs> and then on the other side, you got Riley ignorant ass promoting. It's like we about to watch Jake Paul versus Andrew Tate or something. <laughs> so now it's the night of the fight, and it is packed. Riley out here overcharging for ten dollars. So they start squaring up, and Stink Meaner like. Yeah, you scared? You scared? Bro, how did I, did I, I'm not sure this nigga is blind. I'm pretty sure this nigga got down cataract and I ain't no way in the hell this nigga is driving. And they it's your bitch, nigga. Yeah, I can smell the right off of you. <laughs> That's vintage. So he starts swinging and then Huey ends up realizing, oh my God. This ain't no trained blind samurai. He ain't got super hearing or nothing. He was just a blind old man that just got lucky. So he was like, wait, hold on, Granddad. But it was too late. Finish him. <laughs> granddad started whooping that ass. Bro, I gave him a short you gun. Hey, good. And started kicking up like hard rain. And then Granddad loaded up and knocked him out. Fatality.
And he didn't just knock him out. Granddad killed him. All because he got trapped in a the moment. Damn, Granddad, you didn't have to kill him. So yeah, that was Exhibit A, and it's time to move on to Exhibit B. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit B, the return, the return. So as we know, Stink Meaner died, but little did we know, this was just the beginning. This man is in hell training with the devil. Bro is washing. This man is in hell training with the devil. Bro is washing demons. And even the devil said, he's the baddest motherfucker I've ever seen. That man got the devil to acknowledge that he is the baddest he's ever seen. That is the most legendary feat of all time. He even called the devil a bitch ass nigga. So the devil's like, Cuddle H Stink Meter, I am now sending you back to spread ignorance and hatred in the black community. Ah, hell ain't shit. I'm coming for you, Freeman. So meanwhile, we cut over to Tom, who is basically the equivalent of a brother that is out of touch with his people. But yeah. even Stink Meter knew that every brother's spirit is weakened during a nigga moment. So this dude ends up cutting off Tom and taking his parking spot. So Tom's like, hey, hey, come on, man, you nigga poop. You, you can't do that, hey. Hey, hey, come back here. I had my turn signal on and everything. But then the dude turn around and just start cussing him out. He like, F you punk ass, pussy ass, weak ass nigga. I'll beat your motherfuckers to diddy ass nigga. Don't ever your life ever holler at me, nigga. Now, as we can see, Tom has been trapped in a nigga moment. And this was a perfect time. Mm. Or stink meaner to make his move. Mm. What did you say, nigga? <laughs> what did you say, nigga? <laughs> Who this man talked WWE drop kicks this man? And he's like, oh yeah, look at ya. You was talking all that good shit a second ago, and you got kicked in your chest. You eat a dick, nigga. You eat a dick. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh my God, I am so sorry. Oh, so, so, somebody call an ambulance. Hey, help! <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, as we can see, Tom has been possessed by Stink Meaner. So this man, Stink Meaner, got him Yo, acting court. up in the courtroom. Yo, or got up court. in there and said, F*** your court, <laughs> nigga! <laughs> then later on, bro goes home to Tom's wife. And he's like, oh, yeah, I want to beat up them booty cheeks. Oh, Tom, what has gotten into you? The same thing that's about to get into you. And he beats his wife's cheeks. Oh, oh my goodness. Imagine an evil spirit taking over your body and using your body to beat up on your girl Doonies. Nah, bro, it's crazy. So then later on. Bro, like, that, that's a real fuck. I, I'm like, I ain't gonna, she ain't gonna cheat, but I'm a fucker, so tell it she ain't cheating, she could see she'll fucking you. Stink Meter pulls up to Robert's house. Easy. So then later on, Stink Meter pulls up to Robert's house. Now, why the hell your dope still a lot, nigga? I don't know what Robert looking up on the toilet, but the sensor bar is going crazy right now. So Dog starts tearing the door down with an axe, and he's like, I'm back. Like, yo, what in The Shining is going on right now? So granddad started running down the steps. Jesus Christ, this man's whole package is hanging out. The <laughs> state men are saying, you don't remember me? You don't, you don't remember know my, my name? name. <laughs> What's my name, nigga? What my name? What's my name, nigga? <laughs> What's my name, Robert? What's my name? So then you... Ah, my mama and Amy, ah. He finally says his name. He's like, ding, ding, ding. That's right, nigga. So then Dubai. all the Freemans get ready to jump him. So they get the strap, and this man's stink meter going crazy. For a body Huey smack Riley around, and he is still continuing to body the whole family. Look at this chop. And he like, is that all y'all got, nigga? Look at his backhand to Huey. Oh my <laughs> gracious. So they finally end up pinning him down and Riley had to smack this man with like three <laughs> faces to finally just knock him out. So later on, they got him No, that's a collectible. Trained on this bed and Robert is having this date. So in the middle of his date, Stink Mina wake up and he like, Robert, I know you hear me, you bitch. I know you ain't paid your taxes yet. <laughs> oh, buddy, what is that? Oh, 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 no, 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 oh, oh, no. I know you hear me, Robert. I 
I know you didn't vote this year, you lousy hell. You weirdo! Wait, wait, hold on, baby. That's just a TV. So they end up having to call the cat. Bro, it was the fact that that motherfucking lady said, "It's Abby. You got an evil Negro spirit up there." It's not. I'm not mad that you have it. The fact that you lied, Robert. I'm like, bitch. I would say, what bitch? Do you know how to get rid of the nigga? Like, if you do, y'all, you know more than I do. I'm just saying. To the church to exorcise this man, so there was only one man that could save the Catholic Church to exorcise this man, so there was only one man that could save the day. May God bless you, Robert. I came as fast as I could, so let's go ahead and get down to bed. Removing the evil spirit from a brother is as hard as getting rid of a hunk of. Shit. So we must use these holy weapons from God himself. A bunch of weapons that I will not say because dear God I will get demonetized. <laughs> the brother will make excuses. If he get desperate, that brother may try to rap. Oh yes, you can hear it. Robert, I, I know you got bad credit. So they get up in this room and Ruckus pulls out the Bible and says, Green, the green. <laughs> well, then they start beating this man on the bed and saying some phrases that I, I'm gonna be honest with you I know I'm not the most family friendly but uh I, I, I ain't saying it but then Huey ends up realizing this ain't doing nothing so they kept on all we're gonna do is kill the nigga on doing this for like several hours and then they ended up figuring out that the only way to expel his spirit was to create peace with him and the only way to do that was for Ruckus to make him laugh about how much he hates brothers and that finally ended up exercising his spirit and sending him back down to hell. Exhibit C. Bro, this is it right here. This shit was stone cold right here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit C, the hateocracy. So even though that stink meaner is now long dead and gone, he still had a crew that wanted to come back and get it back in blood. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the hateocracy. A group of bitter old hating ass niggas consisting of Colonel H. Stinkmeaner, Lord Rufus Crabmeister, Lady Esmeralda Gripe Nasty, and Mr. George Pistofferson. Now you see, they all met at a retirement home and they all hated each other. But the thing they had in common was that they hated everybody else even more. So they decided to cause complete chaos at the retirement home. Look at them stealing jello and crashing bingo parties. B4, B4. Bingo nigga! Now what the f I win? Give me that shit. Eventually, it got to the point where they had to kick him out. But that didn't stop them because they roamed the earth for a decade causing chaos. Eventually, till they split up. But because of the death of Stinkmeaner, the Hateocracy reunited to get it back in blood. So meanwhile, we cut over to Ruckus working at this gas station and this black car pulls up. So they come up to the door and Ruckus is like, oh, hell no, what the hell y'all want? We looking for someone. Are you sure it's someone or something? Because you should be looking for the zoo. What y'all <laughs> looking for, the Curious George exhibit? We looking for a man named Robert. Freeman. Oh, hell no. Y'all know Robert? Y'all best get to stepping before I send y'all ass to hell on. So you telling me you know Robert then? Good. Looks like I can find where he is if I beat your fat googly one-eyed ass to death. Whoop his ass, Rufus. <laughs> Breaking. Wait, 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 wait. Didn't, didn't, didn't Granddad have a dream by this point about... About state meaner. News a man at a gas station was jumped by three assailants in black. The victim, Mr. Uncle Ruckus, no relation, had this to say. Oh lord, that that, that was three of them. Oh, they, they must have escaped from the zoo or something. <laughs> damn wild animals. Police <laughs> say the suspects are still at large. So yeah, man, uh, Ruckus got jumped. So later that day, George and Esmeralda pull up to Huey and Riley's school, and they like, um, yes, we're the grandparents of the Freemans, and uh, we're here for checkout. Yeah, that's right, we're here for checkout, fool. So Huey end up realizing obviously something ain't right. So they go outside, and there they are. Well, 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 we came a long way to kill y'all little motherfuckers. And dog, look at this jump. Uh-uh, no, nah, no, nah, G. If I see a pair of 75-year-olds moving like this, I already know I'm about to get my ass whooped. So they start to get the scrappy, and they is teeing off. Oh, my God. And look at Esmeralda. Oh, Lord, she beating the hell out of Riley. Oh, and uh, fun fact, she hit this man with the exact combo that Orochimaru hit Sasuke with, but she hit him with that gripe nasty variant. So Huey and Riley just got absolutely bodied here. Don Riley got his sh 
Brayton, bro. Hey, at least Huey put up a fight. But they ended up getting bailed out because it was time for recess. But meanwhile, while this was happening, Robert ends up going fishing, but he ends up running into Rufus. So he's like, come on, how are you doing? Oh, nothing much. I'm just thinking about catching fish. I might catch one more today. Tell me, sir. Do you know a man by Stink Meter? Oh, wait. You are Nah, nah, nah. See a crowd, don't want to see another crowd live. Don't want to see another crowd make it. Like, if I'm going down, we all going down, nigga. You should, because you killed him. Robert Freeman! <laughs> bro starts swinging this. I don't even know what that is. So Robert started getting to step. But dude ended up wrapping him up in the thing. But Robert kicks the barrel of crabs in his face. Oh, Lord. So later on, he ended up hiring Bushido Brown to be a body Bushido Brown. Guard. So the hate octopus ended up pulling up to their house. So they start. Nah, 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 nah. Bushido Brown, don't wipe your own ass. They could just tell me to wipe your ass. Getting ready to jump this man Bushido Brown. But he low-key start working him. Oh my god! Look how he beat old girl, beat the wig off that bitch. Then he went boom! Then he hit him with the finish! Oh god! Nah, bro, this man Bushido Brown was cold. <laughs> but I say was, cause uh that nigga's life was past tense. Bro, this caught that man lacking. Oh my god. <clears throat> you know, you gotta censor a lot of stuff now on YouTube because uh, you're that new policy. You don't wanna make Mama Susan mad now, do you? <laughs> so granddad started apologizing. He's like, okay, you that new policy, you don't wanna make Mama Susan mad now, do you? <laughs> so granddad started apologizing. I know damn well this isn't that okay no heart thing. He's like, okay, bro, listen, listen. I'm sorry I killed steak meaner. I am sorry I had a nigga moment. But then they end up saying, mm, we don't give a f about no stink meaner. I beg your pardon? Yeah, he was our nigga, but it don't matter. We just came to f shit up. What? Bitch. No. <laughs> oh, bro. This whole time you thought, oh, they coming back to get it back in blood. No, they literally came and did all this. All for sh and giggles. Nah, bro, this is crazy. That's just hating to another level. So they about to kill him, but luckily the cops came and they just arrested him. And the stink meaner saga finally came to an end. Psych see, exhibit. See, I told you that nigga came back again. It D. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Okay, this one I don't remember like that. I gotta go back and watch this episode. I think it was season four. Welcome to Uncharted Territory. The territory where legends are made. Welcome to Exhibit D. I now present to you the clone. So you see, Steve Meaner wasn't done messing with Robert because he had a clone. You see, Steve Meaner answered the ad on uh, blackpeoplemeet.com and the <laughs> government made a clone of him. So he gets his note from the original Steve Meaner and it says, Dear clone me, go f with that nigga Robert from OG Steve. So later on, Robert is at the mall and he sees the back of his car is rammed into again. And guess who did it? What's good, Robert? Guess what? I ran into your car. Bro, I would have had PTSD. I was like, I know damn well this nigga is not fucking bad. Oh, hell no. And I didn't even want to park there. I just wanted to fuck up your car and wait here to tell you about it. So Robert's like, oh, nah, bro. I ain't having this today. I'm just going to have to kill you again then, huh? So they get the scrapping and this man's steak meter is moving. And he's like, oh, yeah, the government gave me some augmentation. Look at that headbutt, judo throw, sidekick, boom. And people recording Robert getting bodied, man. Again. So you know this episode was made back then during the glory days of World Star. So the cops ended up coming and stopping this fight. But no, no, it wasn't over. Because later on, he get this call on Skype. <laughs> Skype, any of y'all remember Skype, man? Yeah. Matter of fact, does anybody even still use Skype? But anyways, nah, stick me on the phone and he like, What's good, nigga? Just to let you know, we gonna have a rematch. And I done already told the whole world about it. So if you don't show, you a bitch. So they ended up having another altercation, but Robert called the cops and they ended up arresting Stink Meaner. But then this is where it just got crazy. So Ed Wunsler pulls up to Robert's house and he's like, hey, I heard about your altercation with Stink Meaner. So uh, I bailed him out and now we're going to have a whole fight because I like money. So they end up making this a whole fight, a televised event with promotional material. I know damn well them ain't what the fuck. I know damn well. Material and everything. But while Robert was training for this fight, something was happening to him. The dark side <laughs> was taking over, and he was slowly becoming more like Stink Meaner. 
So it's the night of the fight, and you see? can obviously see the difference. Did y'all see Huey eyes? I mean, run eyes. It's in him. Man's got the ball spot in every. So it's the night of the fight, and you can obviously see the difference in him. Man's got the ball spot in everything. Bro became what he wanted to destroy. So they start to fight, and Robert just kicked him in the face. You became the very thing that you fought to destroy. So Stink made it like, oh, I see. You must have took some karate classes or something. So Stink made it like, oh, I see. Boy. So they start to fight, and Robert just kicked him in the face. So Stink made it like, oh, I see. You must have took some karate classes or something. Ah! So yeah, bro, this wasn't even a fight. Robert gave this man the most absolute beatdown of the century. But the thing is that you have to think about, though, this isn't really Robert. All this is is just Robert under Stink Meter's influence. He ended up becoming what he wanted to destroy. An old hating ass nigga. So here we ended up having to stop it. He's like, granddad, this ain't you. Stop, man. And yo, look at the whole <laughs> crowd, bro. It's just silent. And then this man Ed like, hmm, looks like this entire event was a flop. This is basically like an Austin McBroom creator clash fight. A flop. It was only fun when your ass was getting beat, Robert. All right, everybody, pack it up. Let's count up the pay-per-view sales. So then Robert told Stinkminer, if I let you live, Will you stop messing with me? And Stink Men are like, I mean, sure. All you did was just have to ask. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. So you telling me this man could have just stopped all this hating if you just asked him? Nah, that's crazy. So we cut three months later. And this man Stink Men are outside of his house still harassing him. Robert, hey, why you don't ever invite your boy Stink over? That's f***ed up, Robert. So Robert comes to the door. He's like, get off my property. And Stink Men say, oh, I'm on the sidewalk. And I'm going to be here for the rest of your life, Robert. But see you tomorrow at seven. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, he's SpongeBob now. <laughs> Bro, I don't know what to say. Like you mean to tell me after all this shit, this nigga came back as a fucking clone, and we still gotta deal with this nigga? Foul. Damn, damn, man. I wish they would have kept this show going, man. But now, granddad, dead, man. Damn, that shit would have been right. That shit been right. But if y'all enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, comment down below what y'all want to see. We out, boy.